Well, hi, Jason. Welcome to Leading is Serving Podcast. Hey, Chris. How's it going, man? Good, sir. How are you? Not bad. Yeah? Not bad. Doing pretty good. As we're starting this this morning, the weather is getting warmer, which is exciting. I know. But I don't know if you I can know. tell or not, but my voice sounds a little funny because my allergies are messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the season, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, the weather's getting nice. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a pretty decent start to the week for me, but I know many in our community right now are just still reeling. Right. I mean, there's still people without power and water. Yes. You know, across Johnson County here on the south side and from mm -hmm. Martinsville to Franklin and Whiteland. For sure. Man. It, it was Friday night was crazy. It was. The this was what was it, the thirty first, I think? Or thirtieth or thirty no, I'm sorry. Friday was the thirty first. Fr Friday was the thirty first. Yeah. Okay. So the tornado that kind of came through and touched through town and just made some major devastation with yeah, it did. so many houses and so many people. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, I have not heard that anybody was hurt or anything major. It was a right. lot of just a lot of house devastation and a lot of, a lot of people without things like you were saying, mm -hmm. not only utilities, but uh, houses and roofs and just all kinds of stuff. It's right. Crazy. Right. So we, just, you guys, our hearts are going out to y'all. Our prayers are with you. For sure. And if you're still reeling from the effects of the weather on Friday, you know, just uh, reach out, let it, you know, let somebody know that it's not, it's not bad to ask for help. For sure. You know, and mm -hmm. if it's as simple as I just need a place to shower because we don't have any hot water, you know, right. we, let's, we, we know a lot of showers around town. Right. Let's <laughs> Surely we can help you with something. That's right. That's right. So, you know, reach out, whether that's us or someone in the community, you know, we're, we're pulling for y'all and for sure. uh, hurting for y'all. So maybe we have some resources that can help you out. Yeah. 100%. So. So, yeah. well, this week, man, I think it's official. Is it? I think it's official. Are you serious? I think I'm serious. I am so excited. You love my uh, provisional language, even though it feels like we're launching a plan. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking for a number of weeks about a, a, a network that the Uncommons is building of yeah. peer-to-peer mentoring groups I'm around so the community. About this. You know, this based off of the groups that you and I are in, right? you know, a couple different groups. And, you know, if you need to know more about that, there's plenty of information when we'll probably end up talking about it because it's been monumental for us. It truly has. It really I has. mean, this is, this is a big step. I'm super excited about being able to share what these groups have done for us and looking forward to passing these great yeah. tools on and ideas and, and opportunities to all these mm -hmm. business leaders that are out there listening yeah. to this now too. I mean, essentially we meet in a group of about, 10 to 12 people uh -huh. who are leaders and entrepreneurs and business, just, you know, a rock star group of people yep. that we get to meet with bi-weekly. Yep. Every, every couple of weeks we get together and we just sit down at the table mm -hmm. and we mentor one another. It's so true. Yep. And I mean, a topic comes to the table and you just kind of work through it. Uh -huh. you, you have a chance to talk about it in your own life, in your own business, uh -huh. and you get to pour into others. I mean, we're, we're there fighting for the highest good of one another. Right. And it's not, it's not solely, or it's not even focused around leads or nope. referrals. Nope. And although that happens organically in the background. It does. hundred percent. For sure. <laughs> but it's not. But it's not the main focus. Right. The main focus is relationship. Yeah. The main focus is growth. And the main focus, I think also is that, you know, people are trying to help each other out mm -hmm. in the business world. Right. Because we're all, you know, so many entrepreneurs feel like they are sitting by themselves mm -hmm. in their spot. Nobody can relate to them. They don't know who to turn to. We're not on an island, folks. You know, right. and, I, and right. I'll be honest with you. When I started my business, I totally felt that way. Mm -hmm. I totally felt that way yeah. multiple times over for a very long amount of time. Exactly. Until I got it, until we started a, one of ours, um, one of the groups that I'm with, when we initially started it up, it was just a group of us just starting because we just thought it was the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. And then you wouldn't let me in the group. Right. <laughs> so you're so bitter about it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm just going to keep reminding you over and over. I know. But you know, that exact same morning that I was I trying said to keep boundaries. Yeah. Just, you just were, so you know. <laughs> good boundaries. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, <laughs> that exact same morning, someone had visited your group yep. who wasn't going to be able to get in either. Correct. And so I linked. Who's our, also a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah. So I linked arms with Bo and who's been on the podcast as one of our interviews. Yes, he has. And we started our own group and that was right at a year ago, this March. Yeah. Time flies. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that amazing? So it's, it's been, it's been amazing. Basically the goal of these peer to peer mentoring groups is to draw out the best in one another by bringing appropriate support and challenge. 
important to increase our capacity as leaders and to succeed in our personal and our professional lives. And that's what it's about. That is so, and isn't that so simple and so easy? It sounds simple. Yeah. I mean, like it does, but I mean, it's like, there's no major conflict. Right. Like, I feel like there's been groups that I have not been a part of and don't want to be a part of because I feel a constant, like initial, like when I find out about what they're about, it's just an immediate conflict in my heart. Right. Right. So I struggle, you know, so I want to make sure that I'm involved with anything that, you know, stays true to who I am. Mm -hmm. And I want people around me that stay true to the, who right. they are. Right. I mean, these are based on trust and integrity. They totally are. And the, the key function is to show up for one another. Correct. Just to show up. And we've talked, how many interviews have we done recently? Like we've got one coming up by Amy Kandrick that we talk about the power of showing up in people's mm -hmm. lives, that just showing up means so much it that we're is. not alone. We're not alone. Yep. So all the people in this, in these groups are from different industries. <clears throat> and so, you know, Chris is a general contractor. You're the only one of you in your group. Residential side. Yes. Yeah. Residential. Um, there, is there is a commercial, commercial side. Right. Guy. So yep. there Who are I'm some, actually friends with yeah. that, that I would totally give work to. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, and so there is kind of that iron sharpens iron in terms of there might be some similarities of your industry, mm -hmm. but there's not two of your position. Mm -hmm. And so you have the opportunity to hear from other industries, other disciplines, leaders in different stages of their lives and growth and development. Mm -hmm. It's really a powerful process that we found. Yeah. And it's, it's really great. So, and believe it or not, like, I don't know that it always creates a conflict issue either. I mean, cause I've met, I've started meeting with another guy who's in my industry. Yeah. And we're just ironing, sharpening iron. I like, mm -hmm. and some people would be like, well, why are you guys meeting? Cause you're like a competition and we've struck up a great friendship and I, right. I would like to help him. He's honest to help you me. You remember the new word we learned recently? Uh, Coopetition. Remember that? Yes. Dave, I forgot about Dave that. Maurer. He's coming up in one of our interviews soon. Use the word coopetition. I have co to think about it before I can say it. Yes. That just, you're working together. Even though you're technically competitors fighting for or, the same customers. Right. But there's more, there's more windows, doors, and roofs in, oh, so is. in the South side than you're, you could do in 10 years. Right. For you sure. You could do one a day for, you know, I mean, there's so much work. There there's is. so much need. And so to cooperate together of how to serve our community better is great. It's amazing. It's, a wonderful. it's where we need to be. We need to fight for one another. It's totally. a great idea. We should do that. Right. <laughs> Let's do that. So you, a topic will come, we'll have a couple of group facilitators and these, a topic will come to the table during that meeting. You'll get to discuss that topic. The Uncommons is going to provide resources to help those group facilitators mm -hmm. work through that process, some coaching on that so that they know, you know, how to lead the group and, you know, and things like that. Cause you know, this can be new for some people. Right. And so we provide the resources, we provide the topics, the questions and the support so that your group can flourish. And really yep. fight for the highest good of one another. It's it's really a it's really a cool deal. So, yep, super excited about that. Yeah, I mean, through these, you get not only do you get a space to kind of participate in and build mm -hmm. relationships, but you, get you you know, like we said, we get to learn from others' experience and expertise and perspectives. Mm -hmm. You get some accountability. Yeah, I love that. You know, I mean, who I loves have, that around goal setting time? Right. <laughs> Wait, I love. I have a strong love hate relationship with that word. Right. 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 I, I don't know if other people feel it or not, right. if it's just me. Right. But accountability, for me at least, if I don't know that you're out for my highest good, uh -huh. accountability is an ugly word. It totally is. But if I know that you've got my back and you are fighting for me and you want to see my success, even if it's delivered slightly off, like Jason, <laughs> abrasive. You need to do this. <laughs> you need to set boundaries, you know, <laughs> right? Even though it may not come off the greatest, you know, that person still has your back. Right. And you can work through that and, and find the gold in the midst of that. But you know, what we're going to be learning is how to be accountable to one another in ways that are incredibly positive, incredibly mm -hmm. helpful. And you know, it's a, it's a great, it's a great opportunity to become known as really one of the best of on the South side. And truly, I feel like you know, this, this, this type of thing is very much what you put into it. You get out of it. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? So absolutely. it's like, you know, as much as we can provide the channel to help people flourish, if they're not willing to take full advantage of that, mm -hmm. they're only going to get so much out of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
I mean, and honestly, if you're if you're loving some of the topics that we talk about here on the podcast, mm -hmm. that really is oftentimes a lot of the conversation in our groups. Yeah. And vice versa. These, these yeah. have definitely started topics here on the podcast for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So oh, oh, there's also, we're going to set up a private Slack channel mm -hmm. so that all of the people across the groups can communicate. Oh, love so it. So you're not just in link with the 10 or so people in your group, mm -hmm. but there's also a, a channel with all the groups in town. Oh, cool. So if we've got, you know, five or six groups going, which is our goal by, uh, hopefully by the fall is my, is my, my thought. If we can have five or six groups going, that's 50, 60 people easy right. that you have access to in to be able to communicate with right? and say, hey, I'm really struggling with X. Does somebody have solution A, B, or C? Right. And we have the opportunity to help one another in, in relationship. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. and so, so if you're a person of integrity, of character, who is, you know, leading in some professional avenue, mm -hmm. whether you're at the bottom of the rungs. Or, or you're the one building the ladder. <laughs> right. It's, you know, th this is for you. You know, like we said, a commitment to show up and participate, to be there. Desire to impact the community. Because mm -hmm. once these groups get up and running, my hope is that we can do things as a business network, as a network of groups, we can do things for our community together. Yeah, and for sure. build a way to give back on a greater scale than what one of us can do individually. Yep. And so Love that, that is... That is, you know, heading down the road and yeah, we just, we'd love you to be a part of this. For sure. Yeah. So what's the catch? What's, the, there's not really a catch. I mean, this is, no, nope. this I is just show up and be a part. And I mean, you know, we'll meet ideally twice a month, but if there's yep. some groups that would rather just meet monthly, we can facilitate that. Mm -hmm. The way to do that, here's your call to action, is to go over to uncommonsnetwork.com that will link you to. The sign up form, there's kind of a brief, I guess, sort of an interview, just a, a phone call type thing of understanding who you are and just meeting you and getting to know you. And then we'll try and pair you up with the best group possible yep. and find the time of the day and week that works best for you. Some yep. people are morning, morning meetings. Other people are now, let me put it at the end of the day. You know, let's, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to figure out the best time of the day for, you know, try and match you up with other people that are looking for that. For sure. And the diversity of industry and, and experience. And so, yeah, all it, you know, there is a cost to it. It's a $50 a month membership to the Uncommons Network mm -hmm. per leader. If you're, if you have multiple leaders from one business, mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, there's, there's some discounts available for, you know, I, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> yeah. For, <laughs> you know, quantity. For staff. Uh, yeah. I should, we should, we should think through the language on that before we right. do that, <laughs> before we do a podcast on it. So, but yeah, all the, the fees basically provide the resources, provide the guidance, the oversight, the digital connection and things like that yeah. for all these groups. Basically they all just the kind of help logistics stuff, administrate and all that good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're really excited about this. If you can't tell. Right. I'm so excited. I'm on, I'm ready to start my group. That's right. I'm That's ready right. to start my group. That's right. So that is our encouragement to you today mm -hmm. is hop online, check out uncommonsnetwork.com. Yep. Consider being a part of these groups and showing up for one another in our community and fighting for each other's highest good, fighting for the highest good of our community, especially, I mean, what a, a heartbreaking way to think about it in terms of what happened this weekend with the weather, mm -hmm. you know, how we could mobilize even as a, a business community around opportunities like this to help others, help others. Yep. you know, we, we want to start building that structure in, start mm -hmm. getting that, you know, organization together. So, right. Hope you'll build relationships with us. Yeah. Make sure you reach out. Yeah. Uncommonsnetwork.com. And if you want to connect with us on the podcast, go to leadingisserving.com. Correct. Get a rating, a review, voicemail. Say hi to us. Yeah. Nominate a leader. We're still... Yeah, we're still looking for leaders too. Yeah. We've got a handful of interviews coming up. We mentioned David Maurer. Aaron Smith, Smith. was just on uh -huh. last week. Amy Kandrak. And uh, yeah, we've got some great, great people coming up. So... Yeah. Please holler at us and let us know you're listening and share the love. Sounds good. All right. We will catch you next week. All right. You too.